All right, welcome back to Carving the Stone Podcast. I'm your host, Naisha Stone, and I'm also the founder of Carving the Stone, your weekly source of positive news. Every Tuesday, I bring someone on from around the world to talk about the positive things they have going on in their life. Today, I'm super excited because we have a Milwaukee legend um, on the podcast, Frank Gatson Jr. He he making a funny face, but he's definitely a legend. Um, if you don't know him, he is a choreographer and creative director. He's worked with Beyonce and Vogue, Brandy, Mario, Usher, Tony Braxton, and the list goes on. Um, the reason I have him on the podcast today is because he's coming back to Milwaukee and he's working with the WYCA to reimagine and redevelop uh, their building in order to bring um, our youth celebrities bring them bring them a chance the opportunity that we usually don't have in milwaukee and so hello frank gasson and your team because we have the youth with us as well how you doing today yeah. <laughs> cool um i, I kind of want to start off just talking about you know specifically why you chose to come back to milwaukee and you know what you're doing or what your plans are with the building well i didn't choose to come back to milwaukee i love la la land okay and uh la I've had a lot of blessings out there, but my mom hated LA. It's that simple. She hated LA. A friend of hers told me and my sister, yo, bring your mother home. You know, and we, you know, and it was so deep. It kind of it makes me emotional when I even say that because usually when people say stuff like that, you're bringing your mother home in a box. Okay. And because she said, bring your mother home, I said, mama, you don't like LA? Well, I don't know. You know, that's what she said, you know. And so we moved her back to here in April of 19, I mean, 2020, 2021. And when I was here in 2021, Tracy Williams, a friend of mine from Madison, Wisconsin, who honored me years ago, said, Frank, come see this building called the YWCA. And, you know, and I didn't really didn't want to come. I was on my way to do a movie with Brandy in Utah. But, you know, being nice, I came to the building and I toured it for an hour and a half. And I walked this building where we are right now. And just like something bigger than me said, Frank, you know what to do with this. And I said, I know what to do with this, Tracy. Do not sell this building. Let's do something great with this building. Let's let's bring young people in here. Let's show them how to uh, dance. Let's teach the young girls ballet. So when the boys act crazy, they can bop month. You know, um, you know, uh, just just all the things I understand: how to direct, how to do music videos, how to choreograph, how to sing, how to do styling. I can bring all those people in from Hollywood to help me with this seventy thousand square foot building to change this world, to change gender, not this world, but I'm gonna start just with Milwaukee, to change this generation, okay? And then another thing is, I, I get pissed off when I go to clubs here in um, Milwaukee because it says you have to be 30 and over, yes. okay? And I don't understand that, okay? And they said, well, all the kids are bad, but I said, not all of them. My nephew's not bad, you know? So, so I wanna change that thing. Like, why can't you come to the club when you get 21? Well, Frank, we don't want them in the club because they shoot up stuff. I said, all ages shoot up stuff, okay? But but right now, the YWCA, we're going to change that narrative because why do you hate on young people like that? So that's why I'm here. I hope I answered your question. Does that make sense? No, that makes a lot of sense. And I totally agree because I'm 26 and there are just certain, it's, there are still certain places I can't go in Milwaukee. They're like, you have to be 30, you have to be 35. And I'm like, I thought when I reached 21, that was good enough for everybody, but it's still not. So, um, how you are know you? That's only in Milwaukee. Yeah, it's only in Milwaukee. Yes, that's, I know that. Effed up, right? Yes. Oh, trust me, I know. But you go I to grew other up places. In Milwaukee. When I grew up in Milwaukee, I was on a drill team. I walked down North Avenue all the time. It was wonderful. And and something happened. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to figure it out. But it's, but I think it starts with the parents. You know, like we got to be better. And, and the YWCA hopefully will be a safe place for people. I'm going up there with Frank and Marcos. They safe up there. They have a good time. What would you, We just ate some chicken and spaghetti and all kind of stuff right there. Y'all we we, have a good time? Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's, we, I, I know what to do. God bless me. You know, like Jonathan McReynolds said, I'm not, I'm not lucky. I'm loved. You know, I'm loved by the Holy Ghost. I'm loved by these young people because they didn't have to do this for me and, the, and Tracy. They did it. And they, and they rehearsed hard and they turned the gala out. They turned it out. Yeah, so I want to talk about that. So um, a few weeks back, Frank Gadsden, um, he threw a gala with the WYCA to fundraise. You got to say the YWCA, child. WYCA. I'm so sorry. No. Y <laughs> YWCA. Y okay. You know, I, 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 in my head, I'm good. saying it right. Yes. But, you know, the letters get women mixed up. Young Christian Association. <laughs> but Young Women Christian Association. That's what it stands for. Young Women Christian Association. But they don't, they just say YWCA. Because we may have some atheists around. I don't know. <laughs> well, my bad. Y'all hear Naisha Stone made a mistake on her podcast. My good. bad, y'all. But no, 
Um, I, I wanted to go with the gala. So you you did the gala to fundraise for the redevelopment of the building, which is why the youth are in here. So can you talk about like how they participated in the gala and why you feel it's important for them to have opportunities such as the ones you're providing now? Why don't you talk about it? Yeah, yeah. come on, y'all. How, how did y'all feel? What what was the process like for y'all? And how did it feel to, you know, be in this position where you're, you know, working with Frank Gatson? Um, well, so I was, I found out that he was also like related to me, some to like my family. So, <laughs> you know, I, that was the first thing that really threw me off with it. But like being able to, that he brought this opportunity for us, like, like welcoming everyone else to um be a part of this like big gala and like seeing celebrities and be, being able to show our talents in so Milwaukee that we have more than just like the violence that we see in the streets and stuff like that on the news that we're there's talent that's hidden under those like bad things and like we can make that make the bad the good and turn turn everything inside out and make every like look the good that's right in our city instead of looking at the bad that everyone depicts as Milwaukee like Make like Milwaukee has a good light to be shown, but it cannot be shown if you're gonna keep seeing a negative light being shown on top of it. What What's your name? How old are you? Oh, sorry, my name is Kira, um, and I'm 16. Yeah, you know, you know, and 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 to to to, to elaborate a little bit, it, it's just something about when I heard uh, Major saying he has the whole world in his hand, Major. I I said I had this vision like I dreamt it like I'm not Martin Luther King or nobody but I said what if I get a hundred people young folks from Milwaukee have them come down the aisles when the song modulates and that was like something that I knew could open the show you know just it makes all the haters go away like this is our future it ain't about Frank Gatson no more it's not about us old folk okay it's about this is our future okay and 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 and, and why not let them come down the house, kill the show. And we had all kind of races there, all kind of levels of dancers there. You know, it was just amazing to me. It, 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 and so that was the reason that I involved them. North Division High School let us use the facility for free. So, so by doing the gala, it's going to be a fundraiser to renovate the building. So that was our first fundraiser. Okay, but more importantly, what was so great about the gala, you know, I think what the gala said, tell me if I'm tripping, oh, he ain't playing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we we turned it out. We we turned it out. In Vogue turned it out. Leandria turned it out. You know, and then a lot of people are wondering why Brandy and 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 Shantae didn't make it. We're going to explain that right now. We're doing a film, you know. But there's a real good reason. But the great thing about the film, Shantae and Brandy will be in the film. The film is going to be like control, Co Coachella meets us. We're going to show how we <laughs> developed the Coachella. I mean, not the Coachella, the gala. Okay, and we're going to just talk about everything. I mean, it was it was some like on the day of the gala. My phone stopped working. So there's something evil going on in this city. I met the devil during the gala. But these young people, every time they came around, the, the devil couldn't mess with them. Like even when I got to uh, my dress rehearsal that day, Davion back here, he took my phone and put a piece of tape on it, this very phone. But on the day of the gala, the phone wouldn't work. I just took the tape off last week. It was nasty and dirty, but I just was scared to take the tape off because I thought the phone was not gonna work. So I never believed in evil, but there's evil in Milwaukee. Okay, but when you come together and share your light with each other, the evil can't touch us. It's just like just like right now, we tried to show a highlight film of the uh, gala on this thing, and all day today, no one can get this thing to work, this TV, because of this evil spirit. But I know with prayer and positivity, we're gonna change this MF city. Amen. <laughs> I feel that because a lot of people they they hear the city and they and they just think all the negative things, which is why I started carving a stone and we only cover positive news. Like it's a reason because we need to see more positive images. People need to hear y'all voices. Um, so to the youth, um, what was it like for y'all? Like how did y'all go about like practicing to make sure like y'all had y'all moves down? Like what was that process like for y'all? Um, for whoever speaks, just make sure you say your name and if you want to say your age, that's cool too. But just speak loudly so that our listeners can hear you. My name is Corinne Dennison. I'm 25 and I'm a dancer. I participated in the gala. I would say the rehearsals at North Division felt very familiar, very much like home, very communal. Um, and it, it's, it has, it's been a long time since I felt as safe as I felt in that space in North Division, sharing and learning together. There's no judgment here. We're all here for the same reason. We all just want to dance. We all just want to do something beautiful. We all just want to 
show ourselves, right? And like we said, in this positive light, that's beneath all of the negative things people have to say about Milwaukee, right? But we all know, at least we do, right? Being the talent, that the talent has been existed. It's not new here. It's not even going to leave here, right? It's just about what do we choose to focus on? What, what wolf do we choose to feed, right? And so it was very exciting. It was exhilarating. It felt really good to kind of just coming, even for that, what what was it? I think we had like maybe a week's worth of rehearsals and they were maybe four hours long and it was really good and everybody just worked hard. We want to get this choreography. We know the show is coming. We want to look good. And not that we're throwing it together, but just the simple fact that everybody had a drive to make sure it was a success. Everybody had a drive to make sure they looked good. Everybody, everybody had a drive to bring somebody who could contribute to the bigger mission of creating Preach. something beautiful out of this building, out of this opportunity, out of this person who is an example of where we could go, right? Because he's from where we're from. He is who we are. I, you know what I mean? And so in that way, it was very exciting. It was very fulfilling. It, um, it felt warm, right? It felt warm for all of us to kind of come together and do what we love and recognizing that some of us are ballerinas, but some of us are hip hoppers, right? Some of us are great dancers and some of us just love to move our bodies, but it didn't matter, right? We were all gonna come together and we were gonna do this united thing that could create years, decades worth of opportunity for us and the next generation, right? And so I've, I've been a ballerina for a, at least a decade and a technically trained dancer, but it's been very difficult to insert like dance opportunity into my adulthood, right? It's very, is limited opportunity. And so the, I, I chose to participate in the gala for that reason exactly. Wow, I get to dance, I get to go to a rehearsal, I get to practice and I get to perform again. It's been years. But then when I got there and I see you, oh my goodness, you've never done a performance and you you have this many skills or, oh my goodness, you know, you go to arts and I went to arts and it, it just was a lot of overlap and a lot of experiences and it felt so good to be in the same space. And then to recognize that not only are we just in this room, this this room, as far as um, North Division being the rehearsal space, is going to contribute to the YWCA becoming a space where we can all feel safe for years and years and years. It was just very invigorating. Ooh. That passion, you go, yeah, clap it up for it, clap it up for it. No, I, I feel that um, uh, we have a scholarship fund, and one year we did fund a, a dancer, so she is a ballerina. Um, so I do understand that. We don't have a lot of spaces for you to be able to like, well, I want to just go dance. How can I get paid for this? How can I be successful here? So shout out to Frank Gasson for- but I, think, but I think there are a lot of spaces, like Davion explains it to me. There are a lot of spaces, but I think they don't have the right information. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't market them well or hope, we don't feel welcome sometimes. I would hope that the information they receive here, they can take to these other places. You understand? Because I heard that too. I ain't going to help Frank Gasson with that. He ain't gonna steal my kids. I heard that. Mm -hmm. okay and i'm not trying to steal no kids i'm just trying to give them some more information and i would hopefully i can help those other facilities because one thing that i'm very confident about is i have information you know like i tell kids all the time when i first went to hollywood i wanted to be famous so bad okay that i started chanting nam rang gang is that thing mm -hmm. how can i say nam rang okay. okay whatever i had got i had gotten me a i had gotten me a gahanzin I was going to go chant. And then the girl I was staying with, she said, I'm calling your mama. Ain't you Baptist? <laughs> you, know, because, you know, but I was, but I just, that's how, but you, but I didn't have information. You understand? So, so I'm so excited to share anything they want to know about how to do this, you know, and, and this young lady, because she's taking ballet, I'm not saying take ballet to become a ballet dancer, but the technique is important for you to become a professional dancer. You know, not that you're going to be on point, but it just teaches you to train every leg. So when it's time to do that step, you're clean. So I can't wait to bring people here to show these young folks that. And then, and then we talk about dance all the time, but I, it's so much more, more, more money you can make in show business. A manager, a, a business manager, a, a, a choreographer, a director, a, a cameraman. Uh, somebody who edits the music so that Beyonce can get a number one hit. Someone who mixes the music. We're going to even have a mixing facility downstairs where you can come and record songs and stuff like that. Oh, wow. Somebody might think they're a singer. You know, and I'm and I'm real honest. I'm going to tell you, all, you shouldn't sing. You, <laughs> you know, no, and, and, but, but go ahead, baby. No, I love that. No, I, I love hearing from you. Um, the people want to know though. Um, you've worked with a lot of a lot of people. One of my favorites is Michael Jackson. Uh, me and my family are huge. My, I'm going to show my mom and my nephew like. 
we're fanatics. Um, but how do you how do you go from teaching someone like Beyonce and then replicating that and then also making sure it's digestible for the youth? Like, cause you you work with high level people, but how yeah, do you but, how, how, but, how do you teach but, the youth? But that's 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 you know that, that's that's idiotic to me. You know to think like that because Beyonce with them. When I met Beyonce at fifteen, I'll never forget it. She was just a ghetto girl from Houston. Okay, but when I walked into that room, I knew that she was the second coming of something. And 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 I'm gonna be a little egotistical now. I taught them how to do that. You understand? I taught them what rehearsal is. You know, I just explained to the kids right now before you came. I have information. I know, like, don't be standing in the wings looking at somebody perform. Don't hold a microphone like a rapper. Don't, don't, you know, Beyonce, if you ever watch her, be polite. Always be polite. Beyonce walks in the room with her shoulder down because she knows everybody's going to hate her because she's Beyonce. I teach humility. I teach, you know, let's get it done. Show business is not like life. Okay. There's nothing about it like, like, life. So I don't know how I learned it all. But 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 this is what taught me a lesson. When I did Smooth Criminal, I think y'all know this story. I was on the set of Smooth Criminal. That was my first professional job. And Michael Jackson's mother came to the set. And I was sitting there like, well, that's, that's Catherine Jackson. Oh my God, that's Catherine Jackson. Now Michael was impressive, okay? His, his fingernails were so well, well manicured. And I was looking at his fingers, but his mama, his mama was over there eating popcorn. You know how women eat popcorn like this and they do like this to the salt on their fingers? <laughs> I saw her do that. I'm like, my mama do that. <laughs> and just then I knew that they were black like me. Think about yep. that. No, and that's yep. what made me be understand that anybody can do this mess. You got to do the work. You got to be humble. You got to you know, be humble. You got to do the work. You got to be humble. You got to do the work. Okay. <laughs> Beyonce is the only one who does the work. That's why she's on an island by herself. You understand? Everybody else is like, they don't like me. Oh, that, 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 that. I'm going to be late for rehearsal. My boyfriend didn't do this. Beyonce ain't playing like that. She's in there falling down the stairs, bleeding legs and everything. She get back up and sing. I know some singers that would have left the lady. Ah, yeah, you know, no, this ain't no joke. You know, and then my life is so special. I got to go back to Captain Jackson's house four years ago, guys. Okay. And I, you know, Tito has a son called Ty. I don't know if y'all know the three T's. Okay. He, I told him, this, I told that story to him. He says, please go in the kitchen and tell grandma, please. He said this, and Catherine Jackson went in her house. She got a big old house in Calabasas, you know, and she was sitting at the kitchen table with her friends, and she had a lot of security in the kitchen. But I got on my knee like I was going to ask her to bury me. I said, Miss Jackson, I remember you came to the set of Michael Jackson in 1986, and you were over there eating popcorn with your friend. And you know, when I saw you do that, Mrs. Jackson, I knew I could make it. Do you know what that woman did? She turned around at her kitchen table with the crumbs of toast on her finger and did the same thing. <laughs> Do you understand? Okay. <laughs> and so when I think of stuff like that, that makes it real to me. Because a lot of us think that those people are special. You know, they're not special. They're just like us. Oh, heavy on it. Okay. <laughs> now, some are stupid. I won't name any of them. Okay. <laughs> they they don't do the work. They're too busy having this. They have fighting with who? They're not doing the work. You know, and that's why Beyonce's on that island by herself. She does the work. You understand? And no, I, I do they're going to get from me is the work part. Okay. Like let's do the work. And like you, we're working right now. Do y'all understand that? Look how, look how y'all are so focused and stuff like this. Okay. Are you learning anything from this? You know, so that's all of this work. And I, and I swear, like, even with this party today, they got some, the wrong uh, uh, ice cream cones. Some, some of my, my friends and her family got the wrong ice cream cones. They got the really rich, uh, sugary cones, what you call them? Waffle, Waffle cones. I don't want those. I want those country <laughs> cones that look square. They not sugar. Yep, they them be better though. Them wet. Them better yeah, than the waffle. Because they don't understand when the ice cream get down at the bottom. And yeah, you, and that last bite. And you just put that Come last on bite. Oh. <laughs> Come on now. That's the that's the best part of the whole okay. cone. But that sugar thing is good, but it's only good with that drumstick you buy in the store. With the no, I, I, <laughs> But when you get ice cream out the scoop, you put it on that thing and just go. And it, like, so that's who I am. I'm about a feeling. Like, like this here feels really good right now. You understand? It's like, you should see people around here taping us right now. They got the camera on my crazy butt, you know? <laughs> but but this is important to me. This cannot fail. This is 70,000 square feet. This building is going to trip people out. And also in what we call this really, we really downtown, ain't we? Basically. Yeah. That's yeah. downtown right there. We can see it, okay? Mm -hmm. So can you imagine how valuable this space really is? Yeah, to give to give our black youth or just youth that access to downtown because they don't know that it's is more out there other than what's outside your and home. And then I want to share some more knowledge. Go and ahead. Yes. Okay. What I found out why the clubs do the thing under thirty thing, 
They're over 30? Mm -hmm. Do you know the city of Milwaukee? I'm going on record. Danita Ball, the lady who was a sheriff who got an award from us, she was honored mm -hmm. at our gallery. Now, she heard me say what I told you earlier. She says, Frank, you know, I, I love your passion, but you know, some of these black clubs, they can't get, they can't get liquor license unless they cater to people over 30. Mm. That's messed up. Yeah. yeah, they deny a lot of people liquor um, yeah, license or they I'm take okay, it away. I'm 21, I want to drink. <laughs> okay, I, I took all my life. I ain't got you no know, fake ID. I can go into the place, you know, and I, I'm going to do responsible. I'm going to be responsible doing it. So it, it, it's, it's not right. Don't give up on my, my kids. Don't give up on my people. You know? I'm I'm really glad to hear you say that, like, for real, though, because we definitely do need somebody to say that because they do deny us. Like, when I was younger, they had us, you had to be 18 to go to Mayfair Mall. That is nowhere in this country that you have to be 18. And is it still, is that still a thing? Yes. So you have, brought, but, um, yes, we need some help in Milwaukee. But you brought up a good thing. You said hard work. Okay, let, okay, 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 okay. Y'all just open another can of wine. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. I, I want to know why, though. Um, there was so a few years ago there was a riot. Okay, but what about security? It, it was a one-time incident. It was a one-time incident. No, come on. It, to me, it's just like okay. Here's a good example. Treat Mayfair Mall like the airport. Okay, don't discriminate on some eighteen-year-olds. Let them go through some metal detectors. Okay, when I go to the airport, I got to take my shoes off. I do got TSA, TSA though. Okay. okay. Oh, my God. But, but, you know, <laughs> treat it like that. Don't, you, like, I saw a sign the other day right here on 6th and North Avenue. No hoodies. No white T-shirts. Yeah. No this. They might as well say no black people. No, that's that's what they do. And for the clubs, they say if you're wearing oh, a chain. Oh, so so, so I'm, 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 I'm really pissed when you just told me all these community leaders, all these adults talking about they want to make the kids better. Like, but why? But why ain't you doing it? How dare you not let one of my eighteen-year-old young people go to the club? I, I, I want to curse, but I can't. Okay, you know, like that's that's stupid. These, they, like, why are they in Milwaukee? Everybody ain't bad. No. And then I even think about the Kia boys. I can't wait to get them here to learn to show them how to do recordings in the studios. Okay, <laughs> they can start a car with a USB cord. They can record and mix a song. No, for real. We just need the. We need the. They're they're inclined. They're, they're doing some money. Stuff. They're gonna be like, I, I work with Frank now. We make twenty eight thousand dollars for mixing that song. I bet that's, that's what they need. Opportunities. That's Opportunities is definitely what they need. You know, and I um, talked to your boys the other day. Okay, over at Phyllis's High School, and they told me, Mister Getson, you know, we just like doing this drilling. <laughs> and, and then I said to them, but do you know they when you steal their cars, they gotta get the insurance to get it back and fix it. Well, they got insurance. No, do you have you ever heard of the dedu deductible? Mm -hmm. Do y'all know what a deductible is? Oh, yeah. Okay, you do, but do y'all know what a deductible is? All right, y'all. All right, y'all. Right, we getting a little bit off topic. We get a little bit off okay, topic, though. Okay, like, okay. but no, the whole the overall point though, um, what Frank Gaston is, is trying to say is we definitely need to give our youth more opportunities and stop treating them like criminals. Um, our Milwaukee youth are way more talented. Um, than what we think. A good point you brought up earlier was that it takes hard work. And I'm glad that you're teaching the young people this because I'm 26 and I'm interviewing Frank Gasson. And it's because my mom has taught me that you treat people with respect. So the, the janitor, CEO, they're the exact same person. So I do my research. I did my research. I prepared for this just like any other interview. And you talk to him with respect. So take that anywhere with you. And especially because you're in Milwaukee, a lot of people are going to look down on you just because you're young. I experienced it a lot. I don't look, I don't even look like I'm 26. So I still get that. Like, who are you? So make sure you, you, you stay true to who you are and, but just be talented and work harder than anybody else. Cause at the end of the day, I produce quality. He using our stuff in our recap. Like I really work hard at what I do, which is why I'm here. And I really appreciate Frank uh, for being here because we need people to keep our youth in the, in the city and to actually take care of us. Cause so many things have gotten taken away from us. So with that being said, um, with this new development that's coming, with you redesigning the building, um, where would you like to see um, the city of Milwaukee go when it comes to the support of our youth? Like, how can, starting right now, what can people start doing to support our youth? Well, I guess to support our youth, we have to support the mission here. You understand? So if they go to isupportthemission.org, right now it's going to talk about the gala, but I plan to have a gala every December 28th for the next 100 years. 
okay? And every year it's going to get better and better and better and better. Bigger stars because it's going to be the place where people want to come. But that gala will always be the thing that brings money back to the programs here. You know, because some people might can't afford to take the ballet classes here because some of the classes will call. So cost, I mean. So therefore, we just want to support the mission. We got a lot of money to raise to renovate this building. Luckily, we have the building. Now, I could be really cheap and just turn these into studios, but I think people like going to nice places. You know, you know, everybody goes to Elsa's. They don't even treat us right. Ooh. Okay. Uh, but 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 think of this looking like Elsa's. Okay. You know, I'm I'm really real. Pray for me. Okay. No, you good. No, you got to meet my mom. You have to meet my mom. Like y'all are like one in the same. Like yeah, one yeah. in the same. <laughs> so so basically, support the mission. Tell tell a friend. Telegram. You know, just just we have to raise this money to do this, and I know we can do it because they give money to people. They you know, to, to other things that don't matter, you know, uh, that may not, not just so wrong to say, they're not really doing anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, because because if they were doing something, you all can go into Mayfair. If they were doing something, you can turn 21 and go into a place. Even that Mandela Burns guy, I bet he did not engage kids 18 to 30. He would have won if he would have engaged kids 18 to 30. Oops, sorry. Hey, look. Listen here, people are uh, open and honest, and I love it. I learned from my mama. Be be always honest and be yourself no matter what platform you're on. So if y'all listening, my name is Naisha. This is the Carbon Stone Podcast. And before we go, the youth, I want y'all to do me a favor. Our tagline is, in the end, everything will be Carbon Stone. So when I say one, two, three. We can can practice. We practice, people. Oh, can y'all practice? So it's going to be, in the five, end, five, everything six, will be Carbon seven. Stone. Five, six, seven, eight. In the end, everything will be carved in stone. Okay. Enunciate, okay? Okay. Here we go. We're ready. Tell us. All right. One, two, three, go. In the end, everything will be carved in stone. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Um, keep Wait, it one up. One more for more energy. One more. No, one, one, one more, more energy. More. Let's do it. All right. Let's do it yeah, one yeah, more yeah, time. Yeah. We all do it together. Y'all ready? All right. On. One, two, three. In the end, everything will be hard to solve. Thank you. All right. Um, make sure y'all join us, join us every Tuesday as I bring someone new on to talk about the positive things in their life. And remember, in the end, everything will be carved in stone.